Hey guys, Steve Watch again here at Beamer Toyota. Um, I wanted to go ahead and show you how to work the bird's eye view on the new 13.2 uh, inch screen in the Highlander. So um, if you have bird's eye view, first off, you're gonna see this icon that says view right here. Um, that's on the left side. Um, you're gonna notice that um, there's a couple different ways that you can use it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the button right now. I'm gonna show you here. Um, once you hit the button, it's gonna use a camera underneath each of the side view mirrors, one under the nose, and then one as your backup camera, of course. Um, it's gonna kind of show you a representation of your new Highlander, and then show you the stuff that are around the vehicle. You can change a few things. If you switch to right here, it's gonna give you a little bit different of a view, kind of coming off to the side there. Um, so you can kind of look around. It's uh, like I said, it's just meant to help you um, to uh, see what's around your vehicle, of course. So um, up here, we can actually change settings. You can actually change the color of the car that's in there. Um, if you want to, I'll show you the red one so you can kind of see it a little bit better. But you can change the representation of the car that's in the, in the particular uh, picture there. Um, just to give you an idea of what, like I said, is around the vehicle, of course. So um, go back to this one, kind of showing you again, looking around. It's It looks like it's from the top of the vehicle. Like I said, it's, it's using underneath your side mirrors and your nose camera is what you're looking at for this. This is, like I said, the bigger system. Um, so kind of looking here so you can kind of see what we're looking at. I'm going to hit the home button here. I want to show you if we hit reverse, this is your backup camera. So you're gonna see, you have your main backup camera that's right here. As I turn the wheel, you see it has a wheel sen sensor on there. That's gonna project where you're heading as you turn the wheel. Um, you can also see it's on this side as well. Sorry, I got a little off there, but you can see it's over there. And it also shows around the vehicle. Now, as you go into forward, right now I'm a little bit close to something. So you kind of hear me, uh, actually let me back up a little bit so it stops that beeping. So you'll kind of be able to see up front. So now up to seven miles an hour, you can actually set this to auto right here. So up to seven miles per hour, you're gonna be able to see this screen. So what it shows you, and you can see, I'm turning the wheel again here. You can see it shows you guidelines for how you're about to, to turn. So it shows you that um, over there. And once you go back straight, you see those guidelines are gone. Turn a little bit to the left, and those guidelines come back. Um, and then you can see up front, so you can kind of see how close you're getting. As you start to go close to something, you can kind of see where you're at, where you want to be, right? I'm going to show you right here. Um, actually, let's hit this one. So that one turns on and off your guidelines. This one turns on and off your auto. So, um, so if you look here, you can see... That should, let me turn back here a little bit. So, so yeah, so um, like I said, I'm still kind of learning on it too. So um, that one looks like it turns on and off your guidelines, like I said. Um, now we're looking back here. Let's kind of go forward here a little bit. So I'm gonna get up close again. And you can hear the beeps. Now you can see your zones. So it's also showing you which zones show that you're about to have issues. Your backup camera again, you're kind of seeing the, the same thing, how everything turns here. I want to go ahead and show you this right here while we're doing it. You can see you can get different views. So you have more of a panoramic view or more of a straight up backup camera view. So um, some people don't like the panoramic view because they think it looks a little bit more squished and it does, but it gives you just a massive amount of view from the back there. So um and you can definitely see uh you know how, how it looks from both ways you can change this right here into a little bit different of a view kind of looking back red line's about a foot from your bumper um you can go to just to your red line if you want to or just to that um center line is right in the very center here so that shows where your center line is and then like i said this is about a foot from the bumper you can kind of see which uh which way you're heading for what you want to uh accomplish of course so um, just a short video here trying to give you guys a uh, little bit of a view on uh, what you're looking at so you can kind of see as we're getting closer here it moves things um, just just showing you uh, 
like I said, a little bit on your new new system here. Um, the the 2020 Highlander, this thing is awesome. Um, I, I really like it. More power. It's just you know more room. Uh, the inside's better. The I mean the screen's amazing as you guys can tell. So um, just giving giving you a little bit of a uh, uh, an, uh, an education I guess on uh, what you're looking at with the the bird's eye view. Now the bird's eye view and how it functions isn't that much different than what it was in previous generations. Just on that bigger screen, it definitely gives you a better view of what you're looking at. So see watch me Toyota in downtown Nashville. Uh, look forward to helping you guys with your new 2020 Highlander. Hope I'm helping you guys here to uh, understand what you're looking at. Maybe you just bought one. You don't quite understand how it works. Uh, try to help you with that too with the trim level series. So uh, TTLS, your, uh, your trim level series uh, on the Toyota. Look that up. Uh, I try to do every trim level for us here and i've got most of the highlanders out there now so um try to uh go ahead and search that you'll find out uh, uh that i've tried to help you to know the differences between the two so uh steve welsh being toyota in downtown nashville thanks for watching uh, definitely subscribe give me a like there i appreciate that as well uh toyota highlander 2020 being toyota steve welsh take care